Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Early season, mid-season, late season, it really doesn't matter. The SEC doesn't wait to turn up the intensity. An early season matchup in the Southeastern Conference. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Razorback Stadium, site of some of the finest football over three quarters of a century, is where we find ourselves today. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. is lined up to kick this one off and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's taken down at the 22 yard line. The Razorbacks always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. From their own 22-yard line, second down. He's tackled around the 31-yard line. Caught with room to work. Tackle made at about the 47-yard line. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. Sullivan gets another hand on him. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of one there for the halfback. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 46. He gets rid of this one. Quick throw. Daly was the intended target. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. From the 15, he makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. left the running backs got it tackle around the 43 yard line guys I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing and they make the stop at the 48 yard line they come out in a five wide set Brought 
down at the 47-yard line. First down pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. Strike to his receiver, no good. That one sailed on him. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hands. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. strike to the receiver and he shoved out of bounds at about the 11 a lot of shoving while the pass was in the air let's get the call they'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty well here you're in a third down situation and then someone makes a mental mistake it makes your blood boil if you're a coach third down and 14 to go ball on the 38 yard line Under heavy pressure. And they got him. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Burgess is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns are looking for some new players to step up this season, Herbie. And, you know, every team needs a new star to be born year in and year out because you lose a fifth of your roster to graduation every year. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Taken down at the 30. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. And they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. He tackles him for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Second and 13. Ball on their own 29. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. They'll keep it on the ground again. He's tackled at the 31. It's an active receiver, and he can't hang on. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Richardson is the punter. Gets to about the 37-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires across the middle, and down he goes at the 46-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. 
Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Throws it to the outside. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Bring him down around the 11 yard line. He's taken down right around the two yard line. Touchdown, Longhorns. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. So they spread out the defense and keep it on the ground for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 62-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Longhorns are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll run it. Tackle that side after a nice pickup. at the 32-yard line. He laterals the ball. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there. And the defense this time wins the battle. Fenton is back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Nice run up the middle. Texas is up seven. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. You like the faith he has in his receiver to just put the ball up and let him go get it. Slings it. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. Makes it to the 24. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. He's pushed out of bounds at the 17. 
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. It's the tailback, and he carries the ball for a nice game. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Texas is up by a touchdown. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Gets rid of it. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. Fires out quickly to the tailback. That's a great tackle at the three yard line. Texas is hoping to make this a two-score game. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up. And it splits the uprights. Meeks looks ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He got hit hard. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach George fundamentals George. every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Draw play, taken down in the backfield. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. It's second and 12. Ball on their own seven. What's the run? Green nine. Green Loss of two on the run by the halfback. That brings us third and 14. around the nine yard line. Well, that's exactly what this defensive coordinator wanted to see. Somebody come up with a big play. Right when it looked like this team might be able to get back in the game, they come up with a big interception and maintain the momentum here in the first half. It's first down and they'll be looking for six points here. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Rose, and he's got a man. 
touchdown. He makes the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Horned Frogs taking the field in Fort Worth. The Bears have the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Bears lead 7-0. 17-0 our score here. We've played one quarter. The Longhorns lead 17-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, Sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Zips it to the tight end. He's tackled in the open field. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Throws complete, he's got room to work. And they make the stop right around the 28-yard line. With a quick throw. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. at midfield. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Black yeah. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Brought down around the 45-yard line, and they lose a couple there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Tackled after a decent pickup. He makes his way out to about the 35. Easy, 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He might have a chance. And they push him out right around the 44-yard line. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Game of 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Right. 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 He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Strike and he drops it. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. The Longhorns, wide receiver, we hope can make a comeback, get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And he got it! Meeks has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. Caught open field, and down he goes at the 40-yard line. Tackles at the 46-yard line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Richardson to punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
The Longhorns looked almost unstoppable in that first quarter. Kirby, since then, it's not so much that way. Yeah, they've been sluggish here in recent uh, series, but I think it's important. They still have the lead. This is where some leadership needs to assert itself, and somebody needs to make a play to flip that switch to get this offense going again. Up the middle for a nice game. Five wide. Easy, two, three. Quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. Here's a quick throw. He's got it with room to run. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 is the mic. Loose football. Looks like the offense has it. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. The Longhorns running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. First down. You're not ready. You're not ready. Get the chisel Mike. Watch Mike. Watch Mike. Hey, kill, kill, kill. kill. Flare. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds around the 28-yard line. That makes it third and three. Watch number 33. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, watch number 33. Watch number 33. Hey, tight, tight. Under pressure. Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. Looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's good. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's take you down to Athens Town. The Aggies relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. And for Barry, he's barreled into the end zone for a touchdown. The Aggies have the edge 14-7. Shut out in the making in this one, Reese. 23 to nothing. Texas to kick. Taken from the three yard line. He makes it to the 25 yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at the 32-yard line. You wonder if they'll go to the no huddle here. Not a lot of time left. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. to the 40 and they make the stop around the 42 yard line and the 
ball bounces out of bounds. They're about four yards away here on second down. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of me. Black five. Go. Just throws this one away. is back deep to return. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Bryant picks up about four yards with the catch. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Fires it out. They'll get him for a loss. Taken back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. quarterback and now the ball is loose they fall on it and they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation the quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five Ten, wide two, receivers in the formation. Three, nine. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! Go. Got it, and he goes down quickly. They come out in a five-wide set. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Incomplete. And that'll do it for the first half. 23 to nothing, Texas. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both passing games have struggled in the first half, David, and a lot of times you think of defensive backs being finesse-type athletes, 
A lot of physicality shown in that first half. No doubt about it. In, in defensive backs, the ones that we like the best are the ones that can play on an island and play extremely physical because most offenses are predicated around timing and rhythm. And you see quarterbacks all the time in seven on sevens and all summer getting with the wide receivers to try to get that perfect timing. And if you can jam them up at the line of scrimmage, you can mess up that timing. And doing a good job of that, playing close to the line of scrimmage, you know, not letting those receivers get too much wide open spaces and not giving away those easy completions. It's been a clinic so far the first half. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. He's got it out to his tight end. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down around the 36-yard line. Taken down at the 17-yard line. He fights forward to about the 16. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They'll drop him for a loss. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page. And then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Meeks has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 22. The Longhorns continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Works the middle, has got his tailback, and he tackles him hard at the 31-yard line.
shot to the tailback and through his hands. It's second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Slings it, and he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. Throws complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. McLean on the tackle at the 46-yard line. That makes it second and ten. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. That brings up third and 12. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Three down, three down. Check 59, Mike. Red two, X7. Motion, motion. Let's it fly. run there as they work the outside. He tackles him for a loss. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike Red, is 59. two, three, eight. Check motion, 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 motion. Go. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Zips it to his receiver, touchdown. Did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. As many law enforcement officials have said, here we go to Fort Worth. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Baylor, they use their potent ground attack to find their way into the end zone. Dixon's knack for hitting the hole has been most beneficial as he's found the end zone. Baylor leads it 21-13, closing in on halftime. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Arkansas to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They get about six yards on the option to the halfback. He laterals the ball. He's to the 40. 
They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. He's pushed out of bounds around the 50-yard line. Let's it fly. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Fights forward to about the 29. Going right to his tailback. Big opening! And he's tackled at the 22 yard line. Taken down at the 21. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. from their own 15-yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. Hey, watch that, watch that. Catch Mike, Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hit. Run, run, run. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Richardson to punt. Fenton takes it at the 49, and down he goes at the 39. Nice yardage on the run back. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And they make the stop around the 35 yard line.
Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Might have been some early movement up front. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Looking for his man, incomplete. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Sullivan gets six yards on the play. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Come on, D! And that brings an end to the third quarter. The Longhorns are up by 22. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Throws complete. He's got space to work. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. play and he's not going to get back to the line of scrimmage and so now the ball's turned over on downs well the offense looked like they wanted to bounce the ball to the outside but this defense just has too much speed it did a good job of shutting off the edge and preventing the ball carrier from getting to the first down both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop Under heavy pressure. He gets sacked on the play. I mean, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. at about the 45. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Burgess is waiting for the snap. Shoved out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. 
And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he is drilled at the 31. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dive packing. Throws incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Under heavy pressure. Moves up, and the defense has got him. So the sack makes this third and very long. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws it to the outside. It's always big when you can get in the way of a pass on third down because you know the offense is bringing it. Excellent punt. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Breaks it, and he's got the corner. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. and run up the gut. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it first and ten. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Runs outside for a nice game. They come out in an empty backfield. Makes his way out to about the 15. for a loss. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 16-yard line. yardage. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. From the 10-yard line, third down. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Zips it to the back, and he's taken down at the six-yard line. He 
He gets it up. And they tack on three points. Texas is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Tackle made at the 17. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. He rifles it. The senior makes the catch. Brought down at the 44. Throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Green Quick roll. Almost intercepted. Throws it deep. That close to being intercepted. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. He's into the open field. He makes his way out to about the 35. From their own 35-yard line. First down, Texas in control. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. He might have a chance. The 10. Touchdown, Longhorns. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Horned Frogs taking the field in Fort Worth. This is a game we've been watching closely today. We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. The Bears lead 34-26. All right, thanks, Reese. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Suggs from the two. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. Suggs got the first of what should be many tackles to come. He's a heck of a player, really explosive and quick, a sure tackler, as you can see on that one. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Rolls and watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. to him before he could get back to the line. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Here we go. Here we go. 
A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Richardson is the punter. He really got a hold of that one. He's at midfield. He makes it to the 48-yard line. The Longhorns are ranked high nationally in yards per game, and after today, I can see why. Well, there's really nothing you can do to stop this offense. If you load up to stop the run, they throw. If you sit back, they can run. And that versatility has allowed them today to have a huge performance. I think the defense has got to be able to make some adjustments after the last series where they were just dominated up front. Look for them to start to cheat up the safeties up close to the line of scrimmage, maybe leaving themselves vulnerable in the pass game. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. From the 46-yard line, second down. Down he goes at the 32. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. I shoot the two. Here we go. Flags at the eight. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. From the 31 yard line, it's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Texas 39, Arkansas 7. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? They look like they were in good shape coming in, but the result here is still impressive. Texas played a terrific game today, even better than I thought they would. Top to bottom, they just looked out of sight. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.